we've got a brand new contestant, Peter Lamont of Bridgewater, New Jersey. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Great right. to see you. You ready to go? I'm ready. Now, you and I have something in common. Yes, we do. And that is a love of? Flying. Oh, it's, ter it's just terrific to be up in the air and flying a plane. Now, do you, have you taken lessons? I have. I've gotten to my touch and goes. I've got about 20 hours and logged, and I'd love to finish all my certificates. You know what? A million dollars could not only get you completely trained, it could buy you a lovely Cessna or Cirrus or maybe uh, a down payment on a jet. Uh, sure. And then I could come visit. You could take me on the plane to where. Anytime you want. I, I think we got a good thing going, Absolutely. all right? Absolutely. Let's get there. We're there. All right, you ready Let's to go. go? Let's do it. Audience, you ready? Yeah! Okay. Let's play. For $100. A person who finds himself in a perfect state of happiness will often declare, I've died and gone to where? Camelot, Atlantis, heaven, or Arby's? <laughs> the answer is C, heaven. Final answer. And it is indeed. Hopefully that's what you're feeling right now for $200. Peter, here we go. Episodes of the MTV reality series, My Super Sweet 16, typically culminate with what event? A foot race, a birthday party, a jury verdict, or a theater audition? Lots of laughter. That would be B, birthday party. Final, Final answer? answer. And it is. Onward we go now to $300. And your question is, which of these countries features no consecutive vowels or consonants in its name? Bangladesh, Papua New Guinea, United Arab Emirates, or Zimbabwe? United Arab Emirates, C, final answer. Very quick with that after a study, and you're correct, my friend. So to $500 we go. You continue to fly on through here. Let's just do it. Let's and in up. aviation terms, you're doing a good job winging it. In 2006, what household brand used the website plopplopfizzfizz.com to promote a contest to rewrite its famous jingle? Flintstones Vitamins, Band-Aid, Chapstick, or Alka-Seltzer? That would be D, Alka-Seltzer. Final answer. Oh, what a relief it is. You got it. And now we're playing for $1,000. Published in 1798, a well-known poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge is titled, The Rhyme of the Ancient What? Mariner, Scrivener, Soothsayer, or Vicar? For $1,000, A, Mariner. Final answer. And you are sailing onward, my friend. Now you have a minimum of $1,000. For $2,000 now. Die Hard fan Jack Nicholson rarely misses the home games of what pro team? The Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Dodgers, New York Knicks, or the New York Yankees? Nicholson's always in the front row of the Los Angeles Lakers games. A, final answer. You know what? You are holding court right now, my friend. Stick around. You have $2,000 right now. Let's see if you can get to four. We'll move the car with more millionaire right after this. Price leaving the light on from Meredith Vieira, who's taking a little break this week. We're joined by Peter Lamont from Bridgewater, New Jersey, doing really well. $2,000 in your pocket already. We're playing for $4,000. Now, when you told your daughter Allison mm -hmm. that you were going to be on the show, yes. she was a little bit confused. A little bit. W what happened? She said, you're going to meet Howie Mandel? And I okay, said, so no. let's just go through this. Uh, <laughs> she's going to be disappointed because she didn't uh, meet Howie Mandel. And then Meredith was on vacation, and you wound up with, with, with just the weather guy just from the, from the early guy. show. Yeah. I feel fine. How about you? I'm fine with Good. it, yeah. yeah let's Good. just keep going, yeah. All right. You Absolutely. ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Let's play. For $4,000, in Italian, the tomato is known as a pomodoro. 
which roughly translates into apple of what? Earth, fire, gold, or kings? I have an inkling on this, but I'm not 100% sure. You have all of your lifelines left. And we're in New York. I do believe that the people here from New York will know this answer, so I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Okay, audience, Peter needs your help. And if you're prepared, vote now. Okay, Peter, 56% said gold, followed by just 19% for earth, 11% for fire. King said 14%. Yeah, that's what I was leaning towards was gold. So I'm going to trust my Italian comrades here from New York and go with gold. See, final answer. Let's see if everyone was right. And they are as good as gold. <laughs> For $8,000 now, the numbers continue to get bigger. Once thought to resemble the tip of a sword, the xiphoid process is part of what? Scapula, sternum, humerus, or mandible? I, I can't believe I know this. I just can't believe I know this. It is part of your sternum. B, final answer. No. Now, you got that sternum, and sternum is correct. I can't believe you got that either, but we'll figure out how in just a little bit. Right now, though, let's take a break. We'll be back with Millionaire in a moment. Welcome back to Millionaire, everybody. Meredith's taking the week off. Dave Price from the early show filling in with Peter Lamont. And uh, first of all, I cannot figure out how you figured out that the sternum was shaped like a sword in, in no time flat. It, it was the xiphoid process. I knew it was in the sternum area. I just remember from watching ER, believe it or not. So you've basically learned all your medical knowledge from, from watching ER. I'm a trained, trained ER doctor. <laughs> and onward we go. All right, you ready to play? I'm ready. All right, let's play. For $16,000. What metal band undergoes therapy in a 2004 documentary subtitled Some Kind of Monster? Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, Korn, or Metallica? I'm pretty sure I know this too. Great. That comes in very handy on the show. Yeah, you, you would think. Questions and answers? How do you know this one? I'm actually a fan of the band. I thought you learned this on ER, too. I, I don't yes, know. That, that too. Uh, the answer is D, Metallica. Let's see if it indeed is D, Metallica. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Metallica. <laughs> you now have $16,000. This next question, if you're right, will get you to $25,000. You have two lifelines left, and you are just six questions away from $1 million. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Let's go to it. Which of these major Canadian cities is primarily located on an island? Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, or Ottawa? Now, you're a travel agent, am I right? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. If you get you know what, this let me right. Just, let me just use the 50-50, okay. just to be sure here. Okay, you want to use a lifeline? Yes. A 50-50. Absolutely. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Glad I used that. Thought it was something else? Yeah, I did. If you get this right, 
the minimum you'll leave with is $25,000. If you get this wrong, you leave with a thousand. Yeah, I'm gonna use the phone a friend. Okay. Who are we gonna call? I'm gonna call my wife, Lisa. Okay. We're gonna call Lisa and get her on the line right now. Hello? Lisa? Yes? It's Dave Price from Millionaire. How are you? Okay, how are you? Good. I have your husband, Peter, on the phone, and he needs your help. Okay. He's playing for $25,000. All right. Okay. And Peter, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. Canadian cities, Montreal or Ottawa, which one is primarily an island? Ten seconds. I don't know. And I'm not getting anything. Three seconds. Anything. Nothing at all? I got nothing. Okay. Okay, the choices. Montreal or Ottawa. Which of these major Canadian cities primarily located on an island? I honestly do not know 100%, and uh, I've had a terrific time here. Everybody was fantastic. I love the show. You did a great job, and I'm going to walk you. away, and that's my final answer. Do you want to, do you want to take a guess as to which I one I would say the Ottawa. That's what you would have guessed? Yeah. And the answer was Montreal. You made the wise decision, my friend. You leave with $16,000. We are out of time. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks for coming to Millionaire. You were terrific. Thank you. Folks, that's it for me this week. Meredith will be back from all of us here at Millionaire. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.